Hello, it is your non-professional, un-PhD'd pond guru, me, Sarah the Closer Parvin, here to discuss all things fish structure. We're going to have a chat about fish habitat, because that's where it's at. No, but in all seriousness, if you're new to this channel, take a nanosecond and click subscribe on this channel, please. I beg of you. <laughs> Um, but what we're going to break down today is the importance of having fish habitat and why it matters for a lot of obvious reasons and maybe some not so obvious reasons that I'm going to share with you guys. And I appreciate you out the gate. I appreciate you for supporting us thus far and continuing to have an interest in growing trophy copper nose bluegill. Um, so let's just jump right into this. Let's talk about fish habitat. There are so many moving parts to owning and maintaining a trophy pond. And I want to break down in depth each of those moving parts. I'm going to have the help of my buddy, Sean, at American Sport Fish. Um, at some point, at a later date, TBD, we're going to film some information about it. Things like happy water, keeping your water in balance, um, a feeding program, how to selectively harvest out so that you have enough water capacity to support growing trophy fish, but also fish habitat. And I'm going to talk on this today because as someone who loves growing these fish, I love catching them too, and the way that habitat plays a part in that for us. So with the weather starting to warm just a little bit here in North Alabama, we can sort of smell that spring is on its way. The countdown is on. I'm ready for longer days, those water temps to warm up, and guess what that means? Spawning. These bluegill will start to spawn. We wanna make sure once that female bluegill has laid thousands and thousands and thousands of eggs that we've got a place for the young of the year to not only go, but a place for them to get a head start. And fish structure is one of those places. With this type of fish habitat, and what you see behind me is the Texas Angler Product Fish Pyramid. It's just as it sounds, it's a pyramid that has openings in it, and you insert these slats across that provide shade and have a little bit of overhang. And there's also slats where the fish can maneuver in and out of this fish pyramid. It encourages phytoplankton to grow, and other organisms that those young of the year need to eat when they have first hatched out and they're just teeny tiny baby bluegills. They need to be able to get a jump start on their nutrition, and fish habitat provides a way for them to do that. This is also a hangout spot, guys. If you have been fishing any length of time, you know fish love structure. This is like the skating rink back in the 80s. Like, this is the move. All the fish are going to be here. I don't know where you're going to be, but all the fish are going to be here on a Friday night, 10 o'clock at night, trucking along, listening to all the famous jams and just skating and doing their thing. This is where they're going to be. Anytime American Sport Fish and I have electroshocked the pond to do the selective harvesting, when we hit spots that have fish structure or fish habitat, hundreds, I'm not exaggerating, hundreds of gigantic bluegill emerge from those locations because this is where they are. It's the roller rink. It's the 80s. They're here. They're jamming out. They're doing their thing. Uh, it's couple skate. This specific type of fish habitat is... Um, eco-friendly. It is made to last a lifetime without causing any degradation to your water. Um, it's also snag-proof. One of my favorite things because we have a lot of man-made structure in the slab lab. We have a bunch of rock piles that we put in there, trees down, you know, Christmas trees, things of that nature. You come to the slab lab, you're getting snagged on something. It's the price you pay to catch the fish of a lifetime. In my opinion, you cannot have too much structure. It's a lot of things in life you can have too much of a good thing. Structure, fish habitat, not one of them. You got to have it. It's super, super important. The way that the pyramid is designed also allows for the fish to maneuver in and out to escape the birds who are trying to make prey of them. So they've got a place where they can go. It encourages them to sort of congregate around because the entire food chain is getting started on this fish habitat. It is one of the things that is vitally important to not only growing trophy fish, but being able to catch them. 
chances are if you can remember where you put this in your pond, you can roll up on it and drop a line and catch a fish. Happens to me all the time because fish love structure. Highly recommend the fish habitat here from Texas Angler Products, the fish pyramid. Super easy to put together. If I can do it, you can do it. And I am going to post some video of me putting this together and deploying it into the slab lab. It's a couple of pieces, snap it together, insert the slats, tether it to a cinder block, drop. Literally, it's that easy. Um, and you can group them together. You can put one in one specific spot, however you want to design it. Could not be easier. You can order directly from them, have it shipped to your door. It's literally that easy. That's a wrap on fish habitat. And I am gonna be bringing you guys a whole lot more content, bear with me. I don't know when this video will get uploaded, but I do have some super cool content of fishing with a cane pole that I cannot wait to share with you. Also, before I go, I wanna tell y'all, you know, I'm all about sharing exactly what dad and I are doing and giving you as much of the information as I possibly can. One of the very best resources I can recommend for you, if you are a pond owner, Heck, even if you're not a pond owner, you just want to catch giant fish, get a subscription to this magazine right here. It is literally one of the least expensive investments that you can make into your pond management journey. You can find it at pondboss.com. A lot of great um, who's who in the pond management industry spend their time writing very in-depth, informative articles in this magazine for you. It is one of those resources that we cannot live without. Yeah, that's it. That's all we're going to hit today. Fish habitat and attractant. It's important. Get the words right. I just hit myself in the head with this. So is this like, is this like an official unboxing video or unveiling video? Be kind of cool to do that. Oh my goodness. I will catch y'all on the flip side.